It may look like Bodo's on Preston is closed, but in fact, they have a drive through that is now fully operational and you don't even need a car. They'll let you just walk right up to it. It's all new for us today. No these are the sights and sounds of Bodo's bagels in the wake of COVID-19. Six planes, six Much of it's the same, except for one minor detail that's caused a little community controversy. Did Bodo's ever have a drive through before? No, no, we never did. Well, that's now changed. Total. The bagel shop has now transitioned into a drive through only operation at its locations on Emmett and Preston, but not at the corner. It's all in an effort to keep business booming while also social distancing. Right now, it's not only possible, it's way safer. You know, the whole motivation be behind doing this is to make it um, safe for the public health, safe for our staff, which is really significant, and uh, safe for customers. It's really nice because I feel like I spend most of my time at photos <laughs> regardless. Over the last few weeks, owner Scott Smith says numbers have plummeted but they want to be there for the community. But this is definitely something that I grew up with, um, like being from Nelson County and she's from Charlottesville, so I came here as a kid, so it really means a lot that they're staying open. Certain circumstances call for certain actions, and uh, it seems like a reasonable time to adapt. Owners emphasize this transition is going to take some time. Yeah, it's going to be a little clunky for a little while, but we'll get better and better at it. And it's certainly not permanent. We'll do it for as long as it's the only thing we're doing. Once um, we can have people back inside, it'll be impossible. But while it is possible, Come on employees are determined to make the most of it. Starting next week, the Bodos on Preston is going to be closing a little bit early. They're going to be closing at 6 p.m. However, the Bodos on Emmett, they're going to still be open for dinner. They'll be closing around 8 p.m. In Charlottesville, Carly Kempler, NBC 29 News.